at this dude. Woosh, pop me, everybody. Welcome back to another Vic T. Hey, man, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you could be a part of the post the Gang family, best family on YouTube. And that's no cap, hands down. Hey man, we are here for another Dog Man video today. Musician is shamed for being too ugly. This is featuring Oliver Tree. Oliver Tree is in this? I remember when I was doing music video reactions years and years ago, there was this one music video I reacted to that was Oliver Tree, and he had like a, a pee pee, like, on his head or something bro i remember that was my first time even knowing who oliver tree was and i was just like what the what <laughs> but anyways y'all we're gonna do less talk about react let's dive right into this video let go fight, fight, fight. Stop. stop this isn't cool that's it no. oh got a good one in oh no you did it <laughs> They both just going in on each other. Jesse, you cracked! Stop! What's going on? Oh, Jesse started it! No, Oliver did. Not true. You did start it! No, I didn't start. So I'm assuming they're brothers. Yes, you, you know did. I didn't start it. No, I didn't start it. What's got me on his back? You gotta fight. Like I always tell you guys, you have to finish what you start. I use these. All right, bet. With the one hand. Fight, fight, fight! Come on! How do I put these on? Oh, he gonna get a cheap shot in. I'm standing on an island in my underwear. Nobody can judge me when no one else is there. I act like it don't phase me. I act like I don't care. Yeah. But inside it hurts me, fills me with despair. From what I know from Oliver Tree, his music is definitely a different type of music. I'm going to just say it that way. Look, look, Oliver. If you want to win this talent contest, you got to put your heart into it. People aren't dumb. They can tell when something is forced or fake. They gotta believe you. You need to mean it. Yeah. yeah. You play, I'll sing. <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> I'm stranded on an island in my underwear, but nobody can judge me, and no one else is there. I act like it don't faze me. I act like I don't care, but deep inside it hurts me. It fills me with despair. Boom, bots blasting. All this bass I'm tripping. Put your hands up. Let's get this party cracking. World's greatest, but you already know. We about to win this whole kind of show. It's 2008, yeah. but we come from the future. Everybody else on the stage is a loser. We, we feel, feel bad for whoever's up next. Because everybody knows we the main event. Now, I ain't no professional judge or anything, but I'm going to say that's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop, yeah. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Let's give it up for... Uh, T. Dizzle and Lil Young G. Alrighty. Uh, and next, let's welcome to the stage, Oliver Tree Nickel. Do your thing, Oliver. Do your thing. I wonder if he's gonna sing that uh, that same song he was in the car and if he's gonna put more passion into it this time, you feel? You guys killed it. Bruh, what's with the tight pants? And that whack haircut. You seriously going up there looking like that? <laughs> that whack. Okay, but... <laughs> it's Tree. Oh, I'm sorry. Please welcome Tree. This song's gonna be way better than y'all's. Talking about, 
It's 2008, but we from the future. What? I'm stranded on an island in my underwear. Nobody can judge me when no one else is there. I act like it'll face me. I act like I don't care. Why does he look like that? I don't know. It's like he's trying to look ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver just has a whole different type of style. It's not everybody's taste and style, but it's his own style. That's what matters. I'm stranded on an island in my underwear. The seams are giving out any second they will tear. I don't want to be here. Life is so unfair. Why does everybody hate me? Yo, is he British? Why has he got that accent? <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying I'm British? I'm not British, okay? Boo! You're trash! Boo! Keep going, Oliver! Don't stop! Get on. That part. The hey, bro. Just keep it keep it going, bro. The stage ugly! Even that rap that was trash from the last group, you know, even though I was, you know, laughing, if they want to keep chasing their dreams of being rappers, dude, damn, just saying. You'll have like three Spotify listeners, you know? Maybe, if that. You still up? You should get some sleep, little buddy. I gotta keep practicing. Yeah, I'm practicing. so ready to win. It's okay, Oliver. You take more Tried L's and best. W's. It's all good. It's all that matters. No, it's not, Dad. My best clearly wasn't good enough. I'm so sick and tired of being made fun of and laughed at. I'm gonna prove everyone wrong, even That's if all it that... takes me my whole life. That's all that matters. As long as you're still motivated to prove everyone wrong. That's all that matters, for real. I don't care. You don't need to prove anything to anyone oliver just be yourself people will love you for that and if they don't they're not worth your time just think about how far you got scootering if you hadn't had those injuries who knows how far you would have gone i'm gonna make it happen just watch one day People all over the world will be inspired by my songs. That part. See, look, that's one thing that you got to appreciate this scene about because, you know, he could have been so discouraged by all the hate he was getting to where he gave up music and blase blase. No, he's using that to fuel him up. That's what I always tell y'all. Let that hate motivate you. Don't let that sh tear you down. You feel me? So you want to be rich and famous? Just like those artists on MTV. And Oliver no, is. Not at all. I want to create the best music possible. That's what matters. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> anyway, don't stay up too late. It's good that he has also a uh, supportive, Wait, Dad, uh, supportive family. Could you, you give me mean? some cash to buy some gear? You know I don't give handouts. You have to earn everything in life. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Besides, there's plenty of work you can do around the house if you want to earn some cash. Come on, Dad. Outside of school and music, there's no time for work. That's what weekends are for. Working. You gotta find balance, my boy. Aren't they? You can help me paint the house this Saturday. Otherwise, you can improvise. When I was a kid, we didn't need all this fancy gear to make music. You know where everything is? You can make it yourself. Damn. I like that parenting style, you know? Like, making them work for the money. Also, you could go make your own food, my boy. <laughs> and then he's also a supportive parent at the same time. You feel me? Okay. Making some eggs. Shut 
just give up, bro. You're hurting my ears. Yeah, looking at you is hurting my eyes. What are you, a clown? I thought I thought that was his brother at first because of the the hair and everything, but that's the that's the rap group, huh? <laughs> Nobody ever teach you how to dress. I look like this on purpose. Everyone's trying to dress as best and as fancy as they could. So I thought if I look as ugliest as possible, people would notice me, which helps me become an artist. And look. YouTube. I ain't gonna lie, when I first uh, found out who Oliver was when I did that music video reaction, man, and when he had the, 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 like, it was like a dick dildo or whatever on his face or whatever it was, I can't really remember, but it was on his face, and I remember just reacting to it, I'm like, bro, what, why? <laughs> you did so it's already working <laughs> but he got but that the thing about it is is that's how i was able to remember who oliver tree is because that after that i never like i don't listen to his music i that was the last time i reacted to his music videos anything but i can always remember that music video so he he knows what he's doing to make people remember you feel me <laughs> that is the dumbest thing i've ever heard you'll never be an artist <laughs> And I hate to break it to you, it's the only thing you ever be is a loser. The world's ugliest loser. <laughs> oh. Does, any does anybody do that anymore? Loser. Excited for your party? What's the DJ gonna play? Probably hip hop, like Kanye West and Florida. Mm. Can you play any dubstep? That's what I wanted. I couldn't find any DJs. My dad even offered to pay a hundred bucks. I spend dubstep. I can DJ for your party if you want. At least they gave him a shot. This party is not no party. This looks like a very, we'll say, chill vibe. Yeah. <laughs> What happened to Kanye West and Flo Rida? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! Oliver? Right? Yes. Andy said you were going to be playing a set. Do you have any equipment? Uh... No. I was kind of hoping to use yours. Alright, I guess. Just, uh, don't break anything. Woohoo! I won't. Alright, let's see what kind of magic you got, my boy. You do know how to DJ, right? Yeah. yeah! For sure! Just never used this type of setup before. How do you... <sighs> Sorry! Bye, oh yeah. the flashy LED lights and stuff. We need like, we need something. Something is missing. Alright, people are bouncing around now. This music's actually pretty sick. Yo, this fool's going crazy. Hey, yo, who's your agent? What's that? Like, the person who gets you gigs and stuff for your DJ work. My agent, Lee Anderson, asked me to open for Skrillex next week, but I'm flying to Brazil tomorrow. You want my spot? Skrillex? And this is based off a true story for all of Oliver's actual life? This is how he got brought up into the industry? For real? Yeah. I said, be Skrillex? <laughs> how old are you? Uh, 18. Yeah, we'll go with that. 13. Hey, look who's going, it's Skrillex. Hey, Sonny, meet the guy who's gonna be opening for your set in Wobbleland, San Francisco next week. What's up, little dude? 
What's your name? Uh, uh, I go by Tree. Tree. All right. You ever DJ in front of thousands of people before? So this is actually how he got brought up for real? Because if so, that's actually really that's dope. That's an interesting haircut you have there, young man. Thanks. What brings you to San Francisco? You wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I'm opening for the Skrillex. Y'all let me know if you guys have any information, though, in the comments section, though, because as a 13-year-old being flown out to San Francisco to open up for Skrillex, like, did that actually happen in Oliver's life, for real? <laughs> I just made a new song. Want to check it out? Did Oliver's parents go with him? Silly. Hello, hello! Hey, how'd it go? It was the most epic moment of my life. So the parents did not go with him? That's actually kind of nuts. A 13 year old going by himself to a Skrillex party, bro? People went crazy for my set. Or a Skrillex and I got to hang out with Skrillex afterwards. I hope you didn't wear that, bro. Who cares what I wore? Did you not just hear me? I opened for... Oh, I gave the agent the house number. Maybe it's him. Oliver has an agent now? Hello? Yeah, it was so freaking epic. I feel like the people ate it up. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's okay. No worries. What? I get it. I will. People there. Thanks. It. He said they decided no longer rep DJs. They're now focusing on producers, which means that they have to drop me until I make way more music. So. It's a little bump in the road, but you're only 13, bro. Focus more on producing. It's not like you don't know how. With what equipment, Dad? It's not like I have cash to buy everything I need. Where are you going? To make eggs. Eggs. of a chance when I used to do my music video reactions because after I did that one reaction like I said I was kind of like alright but maybe I'd like I don't know I don't know yeah yeah I'm sure the teacher probably isn't gonna like it you know you know other people did get their own taste do you feel me <laughs> So, what do you think, Mrs. Grimshaw? That isn't real music. Damn. How dare you play that garbage in my classroom? All right, lady, you don't have to, <coughs> you don't have to go that deep. Damn. She over there shaking in her boots, bro. Yo, we just heard your new music on SoundCloud. It's a banger, bro. We heard you open for Skrillex in San Francisco. How was that? It was amazing. Oh, you're so cool. You're so cool. Instant popularity, bye bye. I love your hairstyle. Love your hairstyle. Slow down. You're gonna kill someone. 
someone with that? Kids. Oliver, some guy's asking for you. Is it my agent? No, it's somebody named Eric. He says he works for MTV. <gasps> Damn. Hello? So literally his, his career really started taking off at the age of 13, for real? Yeah, it is. I did not know that. Do I want to put my music on MTV? Yeah! I can't believe it! I'm just turning it down a little bit when there's no talking. So literally, he... I did not know that, bro. I keep asking y'all to leave it in the comments like you guys are about to leave a comment like right now as I'm doing this reaction, bro. Like, I'm gonna have to, like, look. But, dang, that's actually dope. 13 years old? He signed his first deal at the age of 13? I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's, that's a bit... That's a big deal. I'm sorry. I kind of like Loki got the hiccups, bro. That's a big deal, though, for real. How much is that check? 10000 Okay. Slight work. For age 13? Whew. Yeah, he could definitely buy his uh, equipment now. I did not know his career took off at 13. Because when I did that reaction years ago, man, obviously he was a grown man, but I didn't realize he was like popping at the age of 13. I remember when I tried getting in a music, making music. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. In other words, I sucked at it. <laughs> And I'm not talking about like rapping. Like I actually was trying to make beats and stuff like that because my dad did all of that. But I just couldn't get into it. I played the piano, saxophone, at the MPC. He's getting frustrated. I ain't gonna lie, after this video, I'm probably gonna have to look up Oliver Tree just to see where he's at now. Cause like I said, it's been a few years now since I like watched his last music video and listened to any of his music. I'm gonna have to look him up. I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> One year later. I was starting to think you were never gonna deliver an album. We oh, thought you just took the Oh, so it took him a year to make an album, okay. Money and move to the Bahamas. <laughs> what, $10,000? I don't think you could do that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> just tried making it as perfect as possible. Perfect. That's all. Obviously, they didn't know what they were getting themselves into when they, I guess, signed them on. Once again, his music is a different type of music. It's not the typical music, you feel me? That I must see. Don't because I'll be back when you're gone. And I know that. My, they, they're not even giving it a chance. Damn. Well, what did you think? If I'm being honest. Well, it doesn't look like his career took off, took off immediately. It looked like it's a, it was a rough start at first. I think we should give it away. Give it away, wow. For free. Wow. That was but a slap in the then face. How would it make any money? It wouldn't. <laughs> Look, Oliver, I hate to break it to you, but this music is 
absolutely terrible. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what kind of genre even is this? <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know what kind of genre I would even call it, but once again, it's a different type of music. It sounds like a mixture of uh, rock and electronic and pop and hip hop. <laughs> Who would even buy this? That's exactly the point. It's bigger than any other genre. How do I put this? Uh, this album is like a broken car. Damn. You can't fix it. Wow. But broken cars get fixed all the time. That's true. That's what mechanics are for. <laughs> You're missing the point, Oliver. This music is not it huh? you should find another way to make money Dang. he just told you to find another job he told you to keep your day job maybe you get a job at the cafe wow. we just put this out for free and i think dude forgot he's only well probably 14 at the time now but 14 bro two consider our investment a loss wow <sighs> Good day, Oliver. It doesn't look like he ever gets steered away. He is, that's one thing about him though. Like he doesn't allow anybody's negative comments actually affect him. Yo, you ugly. That's the point. You don't know how to dress. That's the point. You, what genre is it? That's the point. Like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he's doing this on purpose. You feel me? <laughs> don't let it get to you now, my boy. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Oliver. Hi. Did you go outside or anything today? You know, you should be helping your mom around the house. Or at least get a job. I mean, all Lady, who the fuck are you coming into the crib like this, bro? You ain't my mama or my daddy. Get the fuck out. All you do is sit there all day and mess around making music. This is my job. And are you making money off of it? I have made money off of it. Yes, I do, actually. It might not be much. But this is my job. That part. And I take it very seriously. Let her roll her eyes. That's all good. So this is like the official moments uh, or when the time frame when it started affecting him actually with all the negativity. You doing all right, so. buddy? I still can't believe they didn't give my music a chance. It's good. I know it's good. And now there's so many people making fun of me. Before it was just some kids at school. And now it's thousands of people on the internet. Sometimes it feels like I'm not meant to be an artist. Whoa, whoa, whoa! See, you can never allow the hate, the the L's, the the anything, bro, get to you. It can get to you to a certain point. You can realize it, but you can't let it beat you up at the end of the day. You feel me? Don't ever allow that, bro. Such big talk from such a little man. Let's make one thing clear. Even if you're not a professional musician, you'll always be an artist, son. No one can take that from you. That part. 
hear that bird chirping? Or the sound of a car as it drives by? Or the beat of your fist, chest? Not everyone hears these sounds, but I do, and so do you. Once again, I said this already, but it is really, really good that he has a supportive parent like this, bro. Parents, because the mom is supportive at the same time. Not as much as the dad, but the, you feel me? Because deep down, you're an artist. You made art for yourself and no one else before the record deal, before the shows. You did it because that was what made you happy. And no one can take that away from you. You hear me? No that one. Part, that part. I agree. I just don't know what to do. The same thing I've been telling you your whole life. You always have to finish what you started. Finish what you started, yep. And believe me, it's not over. You're just getting started. That part. That's one thing I wish I had growing up, man. Like, really supportive parents, bro. Uh, it's all good though. In the world of music. Was it this? It might have been this song that I reacted to. Why do I recognize this song? Success stories are often characterized by talent and hard work. In Oliver Tree's case, it was also his unwavering dedication to creating the very best art possible. Yeah. From his humble yeah. beginnings in Santa Cruz, California, Oliver Tree went on to become a genre-blurring sensation, releasing countless hit songs, making global TV appearances, and selling out shows. Yeah, he always did the crazy music videos, bro. I think I stopped reacting to the music videos, though, because they kept getting blocked. Like, they were obviously copyrighted, but they were getting blocked to where I couldn't even upload them. All over or the world, I would have to go through a hassle. But it's not them. just his music. It's his unapologetic individuality and iconic style that have captured the hearts of so many. In a world where everyone is always trying to fit in and be cool, Oliver created his own rules, and people loved him for it. Yeah. We're gonna turn it down because it is gonna get copyrighted. Tell us about the new album you have coming out, Alone in a Crowd. Well, for most of my life, I felt pretty lonely. And I think most people tend to be lonely. So I wanted to make something that really reminds us that although we feel alone, we're all alone together. We're you know, all I think that's gonna resonate together. with a lot of people. Wow. I hope so. It's my mom, Christine, friend, Amy. Hey, Amy, how are you? Good, thank you. We are so proud of you, Oliver. Okay. You know, my nephew, he can't stop. Weren't you just telling him to get a real job or some ish? I'm talking about you. Uh, maybe he could get tickets to your tour? Of course, we'll get him sorted. What's his name? Oh, it's it's Jeremy. Tell Jeremy I say hello. I will. <laughs> Oliver, show me. Check it off. You call that music, bro? Yikes. Yeah, you're not making it. Hey, hey, give it back! Hey, give it back! Yeah, give it back! You all good, man? I'm fine. They don't listen to him. They used to say the same thing to me, and they still do. <laughs> You're all over tree. Yes, I am. You like Steve Aoki? Uh, yeah. You want to talk to him right now? Wait, now? Yeah. What's up, Stevie? What's going on? Yo, Oliver, what's up? Hey, can you say hello to my friend? I know who Stevie is. He has a crazy house. This, man, I've watched plenty of YouTube videos of YouTubers going over to his house. His house is crazy. No cap. Hey, man, this is actually a pretty good video. I ain't gonna lie. Once again, I do actually, I'm kind of interested in seeing what Oliver's life is all about. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, man, if y'all made it to the end, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and click that bell while you're at it. Till next time, I'm gonna see y'all next time. I'm out.